Hello, Nelly? Hello? Hello, Nelly, am I speaking to you? Well, thank you, and thank all of the participants in this 1985 March for Life for coming here and demonstrating your overwhelming support for the right to life of the unborn. I feel a great sense of solidarity with all of you, and I'm convinced, as I know you are, that our response to the 12th anniversary of Roe versus Wade and Doe versus Bolton must be to rededicate ourselves to ending the terrible national tragedy of abortion. A year ago, in my State of the Union address, I called on everyone in our country to rise above bitterness and reproach and seek a greater understanding of this issue. I believe that spirit of understanding begins with a recognition of the reality of life before birth and the reality of death by abortion. But the spirit of understanding also includes, as all of you know, a complete rejection of violence as a means of settling this issue. We cannot condone the threatening or taking of human life to protest the taking of human life by way of abortion. And I want you to know that I feel that these days as never before the momentum is with us. Surely recent advances in medical technology have changed the debate. Surgeons now speak of the patient in the womb. We now know more than ever before about the unborn. Doctors have invented procedures that can give blood transfusions to the fetus and even administer medication. For the first time, through the new technique of real-time ultrasound imaging, we're able to see with our own eyes on film the abortion of a 12-week-old unborn child. The film, which is, you know, I'm sure, is narrated by a former director of the world's largest abortion clinic, provides chilling documentation of the horror of abortion during the first three months of life. It's been said that if every member of the Congress could see this film of an early abortion, the Congress would move quickly to end the tragedy of abortion, and I pray that they will. I will continue to work with all of those in the Congress and out who believe, as I do, that abortion is the taking the life of a living human being, that the right to abortion is not secured by the Constitution, and that the state has a compelling interest in protecting the life of each person before birth. I've spoken here of the evidence today that establishes that the unborn is a living human being. We must not forget that in reality, if there is any justice in the abortionist position, it would require that they establish beyond a doubt that there is not life in the unborn, and they can't do that. It's been a long, hard struggle the past dozen years, but I know all of us are feeling hopeful about a positive resolution of this issue and I don't think our feeling of hope is inappropriate. There are already signs that we've changed the public attitude on abortion. 
The number performed each year is finally leveling off. The general feeling that abortion is just a small, harmless medical procedure that's simply a matter of choice has almost disappeared. We're making a lot of progress, and partly because a dozen years ago, people like yourselves, who were told that banning abortion was a losing battle, said, fine, that's the only kind of battle worth fighting. God bless you for your courage and commitment, and thank you for your wonderful work. And I'm proud to stand with you in the long march for the right to life. Yes, Nellie. Good for you, and I support you. Goodbye and thank you. Thank you very much, Nelly, and thank everyone. All right. Historic first. Thank you all. Appreciate your coming down here. And, uh, I think it uh, won't come as any surprise if I say that I think we're probably going to be working together on a number of things this year. And uh, I'm committed, as I'm sure you gathered yesterday, to continued economic expansion and the national security. 
I think we all agree about the need for both, but we probably disagree here and there on some of the methods of attaining it. But uh, don't we ought to get off on a well, find out what some of the things that are on your schedules and you're thinking about. And uh, we'll call on Tiff and Bob for that, but George, uh, okay, you might have a few words here. Well, President Justin. Hello, Lisa, how are you? Yes, sir. We all said it was an honor. Thank you. Well, listen. Thank you. 
Thank you. It was a pleasure.